Hey guys, uh, in this video, I wanted to show you the setup that we use for most of our gigs. Uh, in case you're building your own rack or you're planning to building your own system. So this workhorse did more than 100 live streams and other types of productions, including conferences, concerts, uh, webinars. And uh, yeah, it's been quite, quite nicely field tested. Uh, we do have an all-in-one uh, Constellation 8K uh, monster with fiber, HDMI, plenty of inputs and outputs. I'll show you the back right after. But le let's start by the front. So. Basically, uh, we have first uh, two encoders here, uh, Web Presenter 4K and uh, HD version. So we use that to stream to um, platforms like YouTube, Facebook, or private ones like Vimeo with a password. And also video conferencing app like Zooms or WebEx with the USB output so that the whole uh, system shows up as a webcam. Right below, we have two HyperDex that could be used for playback or recording, but we use them just for recording. Uh, usually the first HyperDex will be the master uh, program in uh, 4K ProRes. So we have a good quality ProRes file of the whole recording. And the other HyperDex will be a lower codec, lower quality, more compression, a backup of the first one, but without the overlays, the logos, uh, the lower thirds. It's a clean feed of the first one that also acts as a backup. And now the last device here is the Ultra Studio Mini HD, which we use to run lower thirds, graphics, animations with uh, alpha and transparency. Uh, so we run that with a software called uh, ProPresenter, which just feeds the graphics in. And the final piece in the puzzle is the Atom Constellation 8K. So it's a really powerful switcher. Uh, it has 24 outputs, 40 inputs. And the cool thing is that it, it acts as a video hub. So basically you can route any of the 40 inputs to the 24 outputs. Uh, so you don't need to have a video hub on top of that. Um, it's really nice for this. It also has two super source, four uh, ME, so you can do four different edits. Here it's an A2 gather rack, so uh, we had extra space uh, below uh, the last elements here, so that's uh, that allows us to put like cables here. So the first one is the um, charging cable, so we have multiple types of charging cables, USB-C, lighting, uh, micro USB to charge mobile phones. It's always practical to have this somewhere. Uh, then we have two cables here that are uh, the web presenter USB cables. So we connect that to computers to have the USB webcam um, input, or we can use that to upgrade the firmware. And the last one here is the Thunderbolt uh, 4 cable that goes into the Ultra Studio Mini here. So basically on one side, we connect it on a Mac with a software we use a pro presenter and then it outputs all of the graphics, the lower thirds and the videos through this cable to the Ultra Studio Mini HD, which splits that into two signals, one key and one fill for the Atom to just uh, add the overlays uh, while keeping transparency. So it's a pretty nice workflow and very practical because we can set up the videos, the, the lower third, etc., in advance and we can then trigger everything with companion so uh, yeah, it's my favorite workflows for playing back videos and lower thirds and on the go animations. You can ask, add videos at the last minute if you want. That's it for the front. Now let's move to the backside. Now on the backside, you can see it has a lot of connectors. So we have like fiber, HDMI, SDI, tons of connections. And that's what I really like having is to have many possibilities and not use converters everywhere on the table. I really like to have everything in one device. So we'll do this top to bottom. Uh, the first array here is like the network park. So here we have uh, the router, which is a GLI net uh, Slate AX. It's a really, really good router. Very fast, very reliable, super uh, and not too expensive. It's really a good router that I would recommend for live streaming. Um, here we have uh, network switches. So two switches, uh, very simple switches. Uh, that case support Dante, things like this. So that's kind of the whole of the networking. Uh, now here below, we have fiber connections, our two fiber connections here. So we can connect uh, like uh, the fiber camera boxes that we sell on our website. Very nice fiber workflow that we use uh, for our cameras. So 
uh, we've started making that available to, to others. So you can check our website if you're interested in, in that workflow, but super practical. Uh, we have um, Ethernet connections here, so uh, more ports and also uh, a connection that is a direct access to the second web presenter. So the second web presenter has a direct Ethernet here and it's not connected to the router and the rest of the network so that we have two completely separate uh, encoders. Now here we have uh, the multi-view, uh, HDMI uh, 4K for one multi-view, two multi-view, and then we have three and multi-view three and four here in SDI, also 4K. We have all of the HDMI inputs here, so 4K HDMI in, uh, then here we have the SDI inputs there. It's worth noting that there are inputs here, four, five, six, seven, that have Blackmagic bi-directional converters, which means that uh, if we put the SDI in, it's a bit complicated to explain, but we can control Blackmagic cameras this way. So we can use fiber optic HDMI cables. Uh, it's quite nice. Now we tend to use more like our system to control Blackmagic cameras, the APCR, which can control both the Blackmagic camera and a gimbal. Moving on to the outputs, it's quite similar. So we have HDMI outputs here. Uh, plenty of outputs, uh, both SDI and HDMI. And then right after that, we have uh, XLR connections. So we have the audio mix in um, that goes into the ATEM, uh, the stereo mix out, which is uh, the output of the program. And we also have HDMI 8 audio outputs and HDMI 9 audio outputs all through XLR, which means that when we connect a laptop, for instance, it's HDMI 8, uh, we can send audio through XLR to someone from the venue uh, or someone who needs it. So it's, it's really nice to be able to quickly extract uh, audio from HDMI this way. It has Blackmagic converter inside. MADI here, uh, ref in and also talkback. So uh, if to connect like the Holy Land C1 Pro uh, system that we use wirelessly, then it can communicate with all the Blackmagic uh, talkback system that is on the Ursa broadcast cameras. And then that's it. We have also loads of cooling. You saw many fans. Here we have four big fans and one huge fan there. So there's a pretty important cooling. So it's quite noisy. That's kind of the drawback of the, of the, of the rack. So it's more designed to be used in medium to big venues. It's also quite heavy. I think it's 50 kilograms, but uh, it's still very portable. It has everything we need. We don't need to use a lot of converters this way. So it has really made our workflow uh, more efficient. Actually, uh, to reduce the weight as much as possible, we completely throw away the Blackmagic converters uh, metal enclosure. And uh, we, we built all of the enclosures uh, using 3D printing so that it's like uh, lightweight plastic instead of, of metal. So that allows us to save uh, weight. Um, and uh, it's, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the end of this tour. So um, I hope you liked the video and if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to let us know. Thanks for watching and see you very soon.